Okay, hi everybody. Second take, I screwed up the first time. So, um, right now at Berkeley, that's why I study, I'm taking an analytical mechanics course. This is the book they use. Um, so it's Analytical Mechanics by Handon Finch. Um, so far, I think it's, it's, I've just looked through like the ha first half of the, at the half of the first chapter just to see what kind of, uh, <laughs> for lack of a better word, what kind of vibe it has. Um, and it seems good. Um, but we'll see. It may be too, it may be too hard. It may be really hard because my physics knowledge is, is, um, has, it's been a while since I took physics. Um, the other one I'm taking is called Incompleteness and Undecidability by, uh, and taught by Steele. John Steele, uh, I think his name is John Steele. I don't know what his first name is. His last name is, is, is Steele. Um, the book that they're using is Cutland, Computability and Introduction to Recursive Function Theory. Um, for those of you who are mathematically and CS inclined, well, I guess that's everybody that's watching this, but um, that book is um, that that class ends up covering Gödel's incompleteness theorems and his completeness theorem, the one that no one knows about, <laughs> no one except people that study this stuff. Uh, I don't even know what the completeness theorems or the incompleteness theorems say in their entirety, or not well enough to make it uh, to understand the rigor. Um, but yeah. Um, I've also been reading, or been trying to get to the time to read, um, these three books. Uh, I really want to get through parts of these because, um, because it'd be, I, I'm working on a, on a textbook at the moment, well again, when I can figure out how to start it, um, I'm working on a textbook on teaching, uh, CS, um, through applied mathematics for math students because math students tend to be uh, fairly terrible at um, programming. Not all of them, but a fair number, more than you'd think if you're convinced that math people are good at CS, which is totally untrue. <laughs> Some are, but not very many. Um, so I, what, did I, what have I been reading, or what have I been tr trying to get through? Um, this is, I think, a Dover book, Methods of Applied Mathematics by Hildebrand. Yep, it's Dover. This one? Um, another one is applied. This one I really like so far. Applied Mathematics by J. David Logan. Uh, and Practical Applied Mathematics. I don't know what un <laughs> in Practical Applied Mathematics is, but Practical Applied Mathematics um, by Howison uh, is this one. So Hildebrand was the first one, Logan, and the last one was uh, Howison. Um, I'll put links in the bottom of this video. Um, so, yeah, um, the other thing I'm working on for, for work are two things. Uh, this one is for both, actually, work and the, um, work and, uh, my textbook is, uh, computation engineering. Um, it's, a theoretical computation. I work with, I work in compiler theory that ends up being important. Um, you know, when I say I work in compiler theory, I mean, I'm, a minion of someone who really works in compiler theory, but I, I'm I'm learning a lot about it, and currently I'm working on graph traversal algorithms um, that, to my knowledge, haven't been used before because they're too specific to the problem. But they probably I'm, I'm probably reinventing something, which is cool, but not as cool as inventing something new. Um, this is the other one, uh, process algebra. This is called equational theories of communicating processes by Baton, Baston, and Renier. Oh, Renier, Reniers. I don't know. It depends on how he's, if he's, if he's French or if he's not French, or if I'm pronouncing my French wrong. Um, but Baton and Baston, I know I'm pronouncing right. Pretty sure anyway. Uh, it's from the Cambridge Tracts in Theoretical Computer Science um, series. That doesn't really matter to anyone. But process algebras are. I'm hoping that these will help me understand um, the theory behind parallel processing more. There's another book that's sitting on, uh, so this so this camera can stand high enough called Concurrency Theory by Bowen, Go Bowman and Gomez. Um, looking at that one too, I'm trying to find anything on this parallelism, this parallelism. I'm trying to figure out the theory of parallelism and how to approach it. How to approach it is an entirely different subject. The um, theory is, uh, I, I don't know for sure, the process algebra one is very theoretical. The um, concurrency theory, I'd imagine it's theoretical since it says theory in the title. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, if anybody has read them, uh, message me or post in the comments and, uh, 
I'll take a look at it and hopefully read it. <laughs> um, okay, that's it.